Thousands of gallons of vegetable cooking oil are smuggled every day into Ghana through the Côte d'Ivoire and the Togo borders. When one enter, take your time. Okay. Second one enter, take your time. Okay. Third one enter, take your time. Okay. You don't have that problem. That's okay. why I want to handle it to you. Oh, okay. Because okay. they are on the way, the custom, they are doing everything. The state is losing millions of cities in revenue due to the non-declaration and evasion of taxes by these importers and traders. Top officials of customs as well as junior rank officers at various checkpoints are complicit. Out of that, this boss this boss connected. That boss, yeah, five thousand or that, or ten thousand. The smugglers evade tax, connive with customs officials and outward security officials, making it difficult for local players to compete. These smuggled cooking oil products are now found in community markets in the Ashanti, Bono, Bono East, Ahafo, Volta and Northern regions. It is a million dollar business with a complicated network of individuals and bank rulers who profit from these deals. Who are these smugglers and how deep is the network of intricate connections that makes the business thrive? In this edition of Hotline Documentary, I will be going undercover on a rather dangerous mission to expose the smugglers, officials of customs, importers and traders as well as transporters getting these cheap smuggled cooking oil onto the Ghanaian market. It's a busy market day in Tamale. The markets are flooded with cheap cooking oil smuggled from neighboring Togo. The dominant brands which have been sneaked into the country are Palm Dor, Dino, Kedor, Tradike, Tilmesi, and Aya. The rest are Jomil, Sano, Aika, and Eagles. At the time of this investigation, the smuggled oil products were selling at 410 Ghana cities in Tamale, while the locally manufactured ones were priced at 475 Ghana cities. These cooking oils are moved into warehouses in the thick of the night by a smuggling cartel in Tamale. One of the kingpins is Mohammed Hamza. He hails from Boko. He operates under the company name Comment Daf Enterprise. He controls a large share of the market in Tamale. The cartels in the oil business operate in an underworld of their own and trust no one. I needed a cover story that will enable me penetrate these campings running a multi-billion city smuggling chain. I told Hamza I desperately needed thousands of gallons of smuggled oil to break even in the local market in Kumase. Commander, I agree to you. I hope you are doing well. I'm doing well, and then I'm also doing fine. This is our business. I know, I know. He agrees to sell a gallon of oil at 430 Ghana cities. He deals with individuals who are buying more than 2,000 gallons of smuggled cooking oil. This will bring the figure of our transaction to over 800,000 Ghana cities. For my consignment of 2,000 gallons of oil to Kumasi, he would pay at least 15,000 Ghana cities in bribe to customs and police officers on the route. The one that is going to arrest him, I will inform you and come. How much are you going to take? Take. Okay. 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 So that is the man takes a gun. So now I'm going to take a gun. Even chairman go the pass through Yendino. That's all the time. Oil is needed. I pass through the road. I don't have anything. How much the So that's 33,000. Out of the 33,000, mm. I will do a to Okay. I have a the should be able to provide the Okay. He walks me through how he's able to smuggle oil from Sankase in Togo to Tamale. Yes. 
Hamza has been in the business for years now. He took over from his father. When he encounters challenges with the authorities, he falls on his godfather of the smuggling business to bail him out. One of those days in my second encounter with him at his office, there were six trucks transporting cooking oil from Togo. He tells me custom officials are demanding 30,000 Ghana cities bribe on each truck. Hamza is not the only one engaged in this business. Abdulaziz is in his early 30s. He works with another Alhaji Zakaria in Tamale. I first met him at the Ghana Togo border, a few meters away from the customs checkpoint. He will later reveal he was on a strange operation to smuggle cooking oil from Sankase to Bolgatanga. You know this worker, it's a small work. You don't just don't just want to see one, they just see all of them in front of you. Okay. When one enter, take your time. Okay. Second one enter, take your time. Okay. Third one enter, take your time. Okay. So that's how it is. Yes. Okay. The one I came here today, did you know that? I was sitting there, but no one knows that I want, I want to bring this. <laughs> I was sitting, chatting. But here, I came here in the night. I was here in the night. Right? Okay. I came here in the night. Okay. Yeah. And I wow. I'm still running. Okay. No one knows what I'm doing. Sorry. <laughs> no one knows what I'm doing. What I'm doing at Marani. It's a secret work and he said if I should contract him to move my consignment of cooking oil from Togo, he would charge a lesser amount of 415 CDs compared to the price Hamsa was offering. There's a route which runs through Bumprugu to Waliwale, and that is what he uses to transport cooking oil from Togo to Tamale if he does not want to pay the required taxes to the state. He's giving 430 in uh -huh. Tamale, and I'm giving 415 down. You okay. just take in Tamale and continue so, your journey. Yeah, so um, I want to find out how we're going to deal with the customer, how we're going to deal with duties. From where? From Sankase. Let's say it's coming from Sankase to Tamale. How are we going to deal with that? Because it's a lot of money that we are putting in. They are not passing through here. Okay. <laughs> You use where? There's a road passing to cross one way. There's a road passing. Mm. But how about duty? How do you... The duty is... The cargo is handling. You don't have problem. You don't have duty problem. Aziz does not work alone to cheat the system. He says there are custom officials he bribes to assist him evade tax on the cooking oil he smuggles from Togo. You know the road, some people are there, the road they are passing. Yeah. Like when I get the customer office, they yeah. see me doing this. Oh. He knows the business already. Oh, okay. We know the deal that we are doing already. Oh. It's not like I'm but you are the best. You come and ask how much am I paying this? You know that this is a stranger. <laughs> yeah. That has got yeah. to you too. Yeah. So but me as if I just got there, he knows the deal already and I know how much he's supposed to take. Oh okay. That's okay. it. Okay. So you don't have anything. If it is um we don't have to he said another way to outsmart the customs is to stock 40 footer containers with the smuggled oil or better still rely on vip buses to get your oil to any part of the country like the vip buses yeah that one you are safe okay vip buses are safe okay but the way this thing goes vip
The oil is brought in by collectors. Sadiki Mustafa is one of such collectors. He is responsible for transporting the millions of gallons of smuggled oil from Togo to many parts of the country. He shows me a receipt bearing the sum of 300,000 Ghana CDs for payment of oil he recently smuggled from neighboring Togo. They have an established network in Tamale. They deal in oil and sugar. Sadiki said he will sell a gallon of oil at 400 CDs to me. Even among the smugglers, there's competition to control the turf. Like Tamale, the border town of Samba in the Bono region has another network of smugglers. They are mainly middle-aged women. Do not be mistaken, they call the shot in how oil and which quantity must be smuggled from neighboring Côte d'Ivoire to Sinyane and the Kumasi markets. One of them is Mame Selwa. She is easily identified at Sampa as Alaji's wife. As at the time of this investigation, she was willing to sell the smuggled oil to the investigative team at 370 cities when Hamza's price was hovering around 430 Ghana cities. She said the cooking oil has become scarce, so like many smugglers and traders, they have to leave huge amounts with dealers in Côte d'Ivoire. Hey. Hey. She said it's become difficult for many smugglers to bring in large quantities of oil because some custom officials are not supportive. She revealed that top custom officials at Sampa and other checkpoints have told her the government is pressuring them to crack down on the operations of smugglers because it is affecting local business companies which produce cooking oil. Okay. But she works with some custom officials who support a smuggling business. She said these custom officials forge how much tax is supposed to be paid on the oil she brings into the country. Citing a recent example, she said she only paid 2,000 Ghana CDs for over 400 smuggled oil she brought in to the Sampa Côte d'Ivoire border. She paid 30 CDs on a gallon instead of 65 Ghana CDs. Amazing. Oh, sir, so I only owe me a year. They were new over to me a year now. Oh, okay. She further walks me into a trade secret on how to outweigh custom officials when transporting the smuggled oil. She said vehicles conveying charcoal from Sampa hide the gallons within the sacks of charcoal. She also references the use of VIP buses in aiding their business of smuggling. It comes at a cheaper cost compared to paying the right taxes to the state. Okay, I just see a high car. 
but I have nine years at you. Go and go guys and never know. Okay. Go up there, no, be told. Then I may attack a Okay. Then they attach us. I may. Okay. As a person, we are in the French or Bob Boka. Okay. Okay. Is it VNP? It's a local hobby. I don't be on a man. I do a picture of people. So I say, yeah, so I do a quack. I may do back of 15 cities. Okay. Drivers who ply Sampa to trading communities in Ivory Coast play a significant role in this business of smuggling oil brands such as Dinner to the Ghanaian market. One of such drivers is Ibi. He charges at least 10 Ghana CDs on each gallon he brings to Sampa. <laughs> Into the bar, one gallon of charges. Ten city. Ten city. You can't pay one gallon. Huh? Twenty-five dollars. Eighty. Be for eighty. Now, we see. We better than the trap order now. Here, now, customs issue. I know. Eh, we pick code for. Any problem? Say the beer, I'm going to meet you. Because I was so mummy assurance, the boss. Any, any sir, one. We be do line. We be scan. We be gym. We try scan on farm. I approached this driver at the VIP bar station at Sampa. He revealed he is complicit in the transportation of these oils when I expressed my interest in getting the oil I bought to Sunyane. He said he will charge 15 Ghana CDs on each gallon because of the bribes he has to pay to custom officials and the police were transporting the goods. Now, many checkpoints between Sampa and Sunyane. One of them is the Sumwa checkpoint. I decided to test claims of complicity of custom officials in the smuggling of cooking oil to parts of the country. I meet Lillian Abrifi and her superior at the checkpoint. They are willing to prepare forged duty papers to enable the team move our oil from Sampa past their checkpoint. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. 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 Free and they are quite simple. But yeah, you say, yes, you say, you'll be prepared to say, you 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 say,
It is because the aqua is in the affected the metal. One They suggested strategies the team could use to outsmart other checkpoints to get my smuggled oil to the final destination. One of the many ways is to use the duty papers of one of the big shots in the smuggling business in Sampa. Lillian calls Mrs. Naomi as she is referred by dealers and importers in this business. This is VIP Basin. Yeah, this is VIP Basin. Because VIP, then, you call no. Almost say, almost so I am. Almost say, I am. In the woman, I'm suggesting the EMB is a trot of phone. Trot of phone, no, I'm saying EMB homo. Because we have been there now, can say 15 CDs back on. Oh, my, 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 it is time to test how deep the skanka is. The investigative team bought 90 gallons of cooking oil smuggled from Côte d'Ivoire from Menu Ya Gladys's shop in the Sampa market. Ya Gladys's husband is a driver. He knows how to deal with the officers at the customs checkpoint along the way from Sampa to Sunyane. The next morning, the gallons of cooking oil had arrived at the Sunyani market. Ya Gladys and her team had successfully transported the smuggled oil from Sampa. The driver admits, however, that it was not easy because he had to pay bribes to customs and police officers. <laughs> Yeah, Gladys and her team helped us to evade tax. The investigative team spent at least 38,000 CDs on this transaction. If we were to factor in the costs spent on the smuggling of oil as traders, we'll sell a gallon at 420 CDs. <laughs> the current market price of smuggled cooking oil on the Sunyani market ranges between 415 Ghana CDs and 430 Ghana CDs. The decision to smuggle oil from Sampa to Sunyane gives our product a competitive edge over the locally manufactured oil, which at the time of the investigation sold at 475 Ghana cities, a stark difference of 45 Ghana cities. Many of the retailers of smuggled oil get their oil through this means. That's how they cheat the state of its badly needed revenue. The ability to outwit custom officers is the reason for the difference in the price margins of smuggled oil on the market. Oh, 
Oyo, oyo. Wé. Yeah. No, this one. This one quoted 198. Which one be? Uh, they said the 25 kg one. This one be 25. 400 and how much? 430. In Tamale, in the northern region, the dealers require that we buy 2,000 gallons. That's the only quantity that makes economic sense to smuggle oil from Togo and transport to Kumase. The dealers were sure of beating the system and getting goods to our destination of choice because they could bribe custom officials. Same was the case from Côte d'Ivoire to Sunyane in the Bono region, where the team successfully transported gallons of smuggled oil through customs manned checkpoints. This is a major revenue leakage to the state and a nail in the operations of the local manufacturers of cooking oil.